what's up guys learning with rich here in this video let's continue incorporating different fire alarm devices uh, panels and families inside our project so this time around um, I'm going to show you how to add a wall hosted family so let's say for example I'm just going to zoom into this portion here on my corridor all right so let's say what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm going to add a device that will hold open our door okay so you pretty much see those uh, families uh, installed in some of the hallway near the door so that the door will uh, keep on uh, being open okay so we have a family created for that for you by Autodesk so it's already uh, ready for you to use so it's a wall hosted family so after that we're going to put another panel on our electrical room here so we will be looking for the fire uh, firefighter control and indicating panel but before that let's go into this area wherein we are going to place our hold open device for our door okay so to do that so what we are going to do is i'm going to select the systems uh, tab just like what we are doing last time and then let's go to the devices fire alarm devices you just click this icon here okay and then after that so let's load the family let's click load family and then let's look for the electrical MEP and information and communication so let's look for the fire alarm okay so let us now use the wall mounted here so there's this family that it that is called uh, fire alarm hold open wall mounted so this is the family that we'll be needing so I'm going to select this one and then after that I'm going to select here open so let's select that okay and then that's how it looks like okay so this is a face hosted family wherein you can place it on the vertical face you can place it on face or you can place it on work plane so in our case since we are going to place it on our wall make sure the place on vertical face is selected okay and then after that i'm just going to hover my pointer along the wall and there you go okay so you can specify here the elevation if you want Okay, you can also create a new type here by selecting edit type and then you can just duplicate and then rename it. Okay, but in my case, I'll just use the default fire alarm hold open device. So I'm just going to place one here. There you go. And then I'm going to place another one here. Okay, now if you want this to be aligned, just to tidy up your design. So I'm going to select here the align tool let's see if we can align it so i'm going to click this one as my alignment point and then i'm going to click this one or oh, did it align so select then i click this one okay so it's not following so for this case i'm going to create a detail line as my uh, reference line okay so i'm going to pick there gonna pick it's just a construction line okay so I'm gonna select this move pick and then there you go okay so sometimes you need to look for another way if the modify tools are not working so you need to add some construction line just like what I did so I'm going to delete now this one all right so that's now our hold open device now if you want to see that in the 3d view so what you can do is you can create a camera view so you can click the drop down and then you can select here uh, camera view so you can click that and then let's say I'm going to place it somewhere here and then I'm going to pick another point here and there you go so there's now our device there so I can just move this one the crop uh, boundary and that one okay so you can change the discipline here so instead of electrical you can change that to uh, coordination 
okay and then you can also change the visual style here to realistic if you want to see it realistically so that's how it looks like so that's our device okay and then what will happen is if we go to our project browser coordination okay so this is now our 3d view the one that we created so what i'm going to do is i'm going to rename this just to tidy up my project browser because i do not want to see any question marks there and i need to specify a proper name for this one so i'm going to right click uh, rename and then i'm going to type here let's say this is my uh, corridor uh, hold open device all right enter okay and then as you can see there's a question mark here it's because the sub discipline is not defined for this view so make sure you go to the properties and then specify here the sub discipline so it's blank that's why it's question mark so you can click that click the drop down arrow and then let's select the fire alarm okay if you have any other sub discipline inside your mind you can type it here because the sub discipline it's a text parameter wherein you can just type here okay so i'm going to select fire alarm and then just click outside and there you go so it's now under the coordination view fire alarm and then there's now our view okay now um, I actually have another 3d view here if I open this one so this is where we have inserted our devices if you remember that okay so what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna click this door or you can go to your navigation bar here and then you can use the orbit so you can click the orbit so you can orbit around here okay and then you can also use the walk tool if you want to walk look around rearrange your camera so there's our so we have a couple of device here there's our strobe speaker and then we also have here our smoke detector right okay so <clears throat> let's change the name of this rename okay so I'm just going to put here room with devices okay and then again I'm gonna change here the sub discipline I'm gonna change that to fire alarm so that there's no question mark there now the next thing that I'm gonna do is uh, I'm going to add panel so if you remember we already add panel here on our electrical room okay so we have added here our fire alarm control panel okay and by the way if you click your fire alarm control panel so just make sure you also specify there the name okay you specify the name of your panel and then as you can see the location here it's uh, it states space 12 right so you want to change that so that it will follow the name of the room in our architectural model which is electrical so what we are going to do if i'm going to select this uh, space here so the name is only space right but what we want is we want to make it electrical and uh, zero two although we can just type it here manually but instead of doing that another way is you can go to analyze and then you can use the space naming tool okay so it assigns the names and numbers from architectural architectural rooms to MEP spaces for building performance analysis so I'll be using space naming okay so names and numbers and then all levels and then I'll just select here okay and there you go so if I'm going to select this space so it's now called electrical okay so it's more faster especially if you have lots of spaces wherein the correct room name is not specified so instead of typing it manually so you just use a space naming uh, tool okay so going back so what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to add another panel such as uh, firefighters indicating panels okay so let's 
try to put it here so it, it will gonna be a wall hosted family so to start that so I'm going to select here um, systems and then I'm going to select electrical equipment so it's not a device it's a panel so that's why we select electrical equipment and then let's select load family so load family and then let's go to the fire alarm again so make sure you're on the fire alarm directory and then let's look for uh, firefighters control and indicating panel so let's just select this one and then after that I'm going to select here open okay and then make sure place on vertical face is selected and then you can now place here okay and then before that you can also specify here the elevation so let's say I want that to be six feet so I'm going to type six and then the symbol for the fit, right? And then after that, I'm not going to place it. Let's say I'm just going to place it here. There you go. And then I just select here, modify. Okay. Again, I'm going to change the name of my uh, equipment here, the panel. So I'm going to select that one and then make sure you change the panel name here. So let's say this is our fire fighter control panel dash zero one okay or whatever name that you want okay and then just click outside okay so it's now there okay okay so just to make sure you can select that and then you can now see there the panel name all right so let's uh, create another 3d view for this room for our electrical room so i'm going to click the drop down arrow here and then i'm going to select camera all right, and then I'm going to click here. Mm, all right, so let's say, um, how about I'll just click here. And then I'm going to place here or relocate my firefighter control panel here. So I'm going to select level one again. Okay, and then I'm going to click this and then there's a uh, tool here pick new okay so I'm going to select that and then I'm going to place it here okay just to relocate and then modify now let's go back again to our 3d view which is uh, this one there you go okay so I'm going to adjust the height of my crop region and there you have it okay again we can change the discipline to coordination and then the sub-discipline to fire alarm and then the uh, visual style to uh, let's say realistic view and there you go okay so I'm gonna change the name of my 3d view here so I'm gonna right click that name so I'm gonna call this electrical room enter all right so I'm gonna go to view I'm going to select tile views or you can type WT and then you can now see your view. Okay, so you can type ZA, ZA for zoom all. Okay, ZA, there you go. Right? Okay, so that's how you insert your uh, fire alarm family. So we insert, uh, we have learned how to insert our devices, fire alarm devices, our hold open devices, and then our uh, control panels. Okay, so in our next video, we are going to talk about adding cable tray on our project. So hopefully you learned something from this video. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.